Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Saving with Jessica. Today we're going to be doing a large cash stuffing for week 39 of 2024. We're going to add $2,766 into my savings challenges. I'm actually not going to count the money first because I have it all separated and I don't want to mix the bills up into different um, savings challenges. So we're just going to get this video started and we're going to start with the savings challenges that I add to every week first. So we're going to add money into our save $2,000 savings challenge and we're going to add $100. Next is our save $250 savings challenge and we're going to add $10. The next savings challenge is to save $1,200 and we're adding $40. Next is the 100 envelope savings challenge and we're adding $30. Our next savings challenge is to save $444 and we're going to add $111. So now we have... Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 300, 320, 330, 31, 32, 33. So 333. Our next challenge is to save $1,200 and we're going to add $700. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our next savings challenge is to save $600 and we're going to add $250. And now we have one, two, three, four, fifty. Our next challenge is to save $720 and we're saving $450 today. One, two, three, four, fifty. So we have four fifty. So 450, 460, 480, 500, 520, 540, 560, 580, 585. Next is our save $500 savings challenge and we're adding $50, I mean $150. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100, um, so 200, 300, 350, 370, 380. No, 390, sorry. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 390 dollars. Our next savings challenge is to save 500 dollars and we're gonna add 120. And now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So $360. 
Our next challenge is the holiday savings, and we're going to add $660. I'm so happy I was able to catch up on this one because I was afraid that I was going to fall behind. But so far, so good. So now we have... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight forty. Okay, so for our next savings challenges, we have save one sixty, save one twenty, and save two fifty. We're adding ten into one sixty, ten into one twenty, and. 15 for 250. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130. Then for 120 saving challenge, we have. 40, 50, 60, 70, 90. Then for 250, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195. All right, we're almost done with this video. So we have saved 350 and saved $250 savings challenge, and we're adding 20 for each of these. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260. And then we have... 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180. All right, so these are our last three savings challenges for this video. For the Save $400 savings challenge, we're adding 25. For Save 300, we're adding another 25. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 300, 325. Then for the $300 savings challenge, we have... Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, one twenty, one forty, one sixty, one seventy, one seventy five, two twenty five. Okay, and for our scratch and save, we're going to add $20 because I scratched this off maybe three weeks ago. So we're going to add that and be done. I'm not going to scratch off another number because I need a game plan of how I'm going to complete all these challenges by the end of the year. As you can see, most of the challenges, I left them with three circles. So it should be for October, November, December. So I need a game plan to see how much I'm going to add every week in order to complete these challenges. So that's going to be it for today. If you guys made it this far, please put a heart down in the comments. Please let me know how you guys are doing with your 2024 savings challenges. And let me know if you're going to be doing any savings challenges for 2025. Um, I'm really excited for these savings challenges to be done. And I want a fresh start for 2025. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. I also wanted to add that I'm super happy about this savings challenge, the holiday savings challenge, because I really didn't think that I was going to be able to complete this. Um, 
because I don't want to get into debt for holidays. I don't want to have to swipe my credit card and just be with $1,000 or however much it's going to be for holiday shopping and debt. So I'm happy that I've gotten this far. I still need to add $120, but I definitely can do that um, in time for Black Friday because that's when I will be completing the savings challenge. So Yes, this is what I'm most happy about. Honestly, if I didn't do all the rest of the challenges, I wouldn't even care. As long as I do the holiday savings challenges so I don't get myself into debt, that's all I care about. All right, so this is really good by now, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.